Hello YouTube, this is Nick here from the Migrate Tech YouTube channel where I bring you reviews on all things technology. Today we're going to take a look at a headphone product that I received. Um, this is the iBeats, as you can see here right on the packaging and also on the title. And these are from Beats by Dre or Monster. Monster, are, Monster Cable are the company and obviously Beats by Dre are the headphones designed by Beats. Um, not by Beats, designed by Dre, sorry. And his is like his own little separate company off Monster. So these are the iBeats in Chrome. These are the Chrome edition with the control talk. So these are for all iPods, all iPhones and the iPad. So let's just quickly open this up and show you what it's included. So as you can see it says really sound matters on the inside. And let's just take this out of the way. That's just a little cardboard thing, you don't really need that. And it comes with a lot of a lot of extra tips depending on which ear size or ear channel size you have depends on which ear tips you're going to use so they I believe there are these are the small ones you got medium large um, the ones that came on it was this one I've lost the other one I don't actually know where it's gone and also the ones I'm using are the the big the biggest ones of them you just do also get these Christmas tree ones that's what I like to call them they do look like Christmas trees sort of as you can see, I believe they're like uh, three tips, three tip ones. I can't remember the name. Um, if I know it, I'll put a little thing, an annotation up or something like that. If I remember it, um, if you lift this up, you do also it does does also include. If I just put these backings, they've all fallen out. It does also include a carrying case, as you can see. It says really sound matters again, or sound really matters, sorry. You got the Beats logo, Beats by Dre, Monster. Really nice sort of, I'm not sure, it's not leather, but it's just a nice sort of um, plasticky sort of feel to it. You got iBeats imprinted on the back. Um, you got a little Beats logo right there and some red stitching, very nicely done with Monster there. This also is a sort of metal closing, but mine doesn't really, doesn't close as you can see. I opened it up once and now it won't close fully. Um, so I'm not sure that's for everyone but mine certainly does that. Now you're going to use this carrying case if you don't want your headphones to break. Um, obviously you've got to be really careful with these high quality headphones. Um, you don't want to break them obviously because you spent a lot of money on them so just put them in this whenever taking these out or taking them about and everything like that. It does also include a manual of some description if I can get it out. And obviously your warranty and everything like that's in there, but you got your manual, it tells you how to use it in different languages. So if you want to read through that you can, I just left it in the box because I don't really read the manuals. Okay, so that's just the packaging out of the way. We need to actually take a look at the headphones and sell because that's probably what you're all watching this video for. So if I can just get this back in real quick and we'll move on to the headphones. Okay, so as you can see these are very small size but they do offer a very big sound. These are high performance in-ear headphones for all eye devices and they are actually engineered to deliver extraordinary HD audio. So these are very good quality headphones, very high-end headphones. So definitely worth taking a look at these on the websites from the links in the description. So these are definitely great for bass as well as just crisp all round sound guys that mid range sound these are great because they just offer just sort of they're not the top top uh, headphones you're going to find but these are just in that mid range sound these are ex these are excellent so definitely worth taking a look at these so as you can see I do have the aluminium ones now the construction is second to none however my thoughts were the same if I just put these down real quick these were my thoughts were the same for the Beats by Dre tours as you can see I have the tours right here uh, Beats is again but my thoughts were the same the construction is really great when I first got them and then a few weeks uh, the cord snapped as you can see I've taped it up now the cord did break and um, I wasn't very impressed. Then uh, that obviously that happened, but then again, this this cord thing right here that broke, as you can see. So um, I think maybe I wasn't too careful with them. I'm not sure, but um, my thoughts again were the same that I have for these with them when I first got them, and obviously look what's happened to them now. So just be careful, be aware, and obviously use that carrying case, and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. So. Like I said, I do have the aluminium ones, and this is precision machined metal housing. Now, however, this does however this does prevent vibrations and also any unwelcome sonic artifacts. So these are really great housing, a nice metal finish to them, really good quality. Now, as you can see, you do have the Beats logo right there. 
nice and shiny, you've got the Red Beach logo. And if we just zoom in a bit more for you guys, you can see the Beach logo right there. And you also see this blue line. And that blue line indicates that this is the left channel, as you can see the left channel right there. And on the other headphone, you, get, you have a red line, so it's just easier to picture them. Instead of having to look for this little logo saying right or left, you can just see the line, the colour line, and you know which headphone to stick in which ear. On the top, you have iBeats written in, and the Beats logo, obviously, and left. And then on the bottom, you do also have the Monster logo. Now, if I just talk about these tips real quick. Now, these tips, or buds, uh, they definitely could be improved, guys. Um, I would actually recommend investing in Monsters foam tips. Now, I've tried all the tips that they come with in the box, which I just showed you, and they all seem to fall out of my ears fairly easily. So, guys, um, I wouldn't recommend these tips as much as the headphones, but um, still, they go with the colour scheme. You've got the white, and obviously the white here, and it just they do look good, but I just re would recommend investing in other tips. Foam tips would probably be the best option as they stay in your ear a lot better. But these like sort of rubbery plastic tips are good if you like them. Obviously if they stay in your ear then fine, they, that's great. But mine, for myself, uh, my personal opinion, these aren't the best tips. Now if we move down from the metal casing, and obviously you can see right here, the white sort of plastic or rubbery rim I would say around the top um, of the wire. Now this just gives it a bit more flexibility so they, it's not going to snap as easily as say which it did with the the cord right here on the tours. So that's a really good thing about it. It does include that sort of rubbery thing so it's not going to snap and you just have that little bit of metal or aluminium on the bottom as well just to give it a bit more support. And the wire is really thin as you can see very thin. Now unlike the tours which were, uh, they had the tangle free cable as you can see it didn't tangle at all these are going to tang uh, get a tangle a little bit not not much I haven't really had any troubles with them tangling a lot but the, as with the wire being very thin it will tangle a bit so just be careful wrap them up uh, in a certain way or use the carrying case and you shouldn't have any problems again with that so the cable is red uh, I believe that's red for all headphones whichever color whichever color you actually choose to, um, when purchasing the color will be red for the wire but again very thin as you can see so just be aware of that if we move down the wire as you can see on the left hand side of the wire you have the built in microphone with control talk now it looks really good nice sort of diamond kite sort of shape to it uh, looks really good again uh, the colours, depending on which colour you buy, this depends on which colour this plastic casing is for the control talk. We get a nice aluminium button in the middle. This is just for your play and pause. So you can click that once to play, click that tw again to pause the track, and the volume up and down. Now, if we move to the back of the box, you can see some of the controls. Now, if you double press, I believe, if you double, yeah, if you double press the um, middle button like so that will take the track back one and if you press it three times it skips it to the next track so that's really nice also again if you press it it hangs up the phone or picks up the phone and if you press it again it will hang up the phone so that is your control talk features you can see that on the back and learn more about that if you decide to actually pick up these headphones so looks really good makes the headphones actually look really nice you've got the microphone on the back as you can see so when receiving them calls is going to be great um, so that's that. So yeah, it's a built-in microphone with control talk. Allows you to control your music as well as talk hands-free when someone, when you're receiving a call or obviously making a call. Again, if we move down the wire, and let me just sort this out. They have tangled, as you can see. Like I just said, they do ta tend to tangle a little bit. Not much. It's just very, easy. it's very easy to untangle. Just be aware. So if we move down, you can see you do have this sort of divider where it splits into that. You get from one wire splits into the two. You, you know what I'm talking about right there. Now again, if it's depending on what colour, depends on which colour this is. But you have the iBeats right there, and you do have the Beats logo again, just printed nice and small on the back on there as well, and you've got Monster and their Monster logo. Now what's really nice is you do have this aluminium top right here, but this is also going to be something you might use when keeping your headphones from tangling, You because you can simply just pull this up, along the wire up to obviously the microphone and this will keep your headphones from tangling as such so if you just pull it up 
it was quite easy to do. Now as you can see if I just zoom out again a little bit so you can actually see it properly. Um, I've pulled it up and now it's up by the control torque and this will just stop your headphones from tangling as much as they would do. So that's a really nice feature, I did like that. Didn't include that on the tours but this is a really nice feature on the iBeat so that's really nice if I just pull that back down. So if we move right down to the bottom of the wire, just thread it through. Quite a nice long wire, I wouldn't say it's the longest wire of the, uh, on the market but again it is quite a nice wire, it's not very thin, it's not very thick, it's just right and um, good, good length as well. Obviously I'm quite tall but it works fine with me so you shouldn't have any problems there. Now if you move to the bottom as you can see it is a gold plated headphone jack, it's a 3.5 headphone jack. So this obviously is going to work like I said with all iPods, all iPhones and the iPads so you just simply push it in like so and you, you, you're good to go. Now I would have liked to seen a sort of L shaped one, I know a lot of headphone companies out there are doing that L shaped one, that's just going to help when it's actually, you say your phone's in your pocket, this isn't going to get squashed in any way and it's just going to make it, it's going to prevent it from actually damaging so um, I would have liked to have seen that obviously um, what happened with my tours um, with it snapping uh, I'm a, I'm a, I still am a bit worried about this so I just try to be careful as best I can. Uh, you do again have the monster logo on the sort of aluminium case and around the 3.5 <laughs> headphone jack and on the other side you have eye beats and you do have this rubber, a uh, white sort of rubber on the end of that. Just again like we saw with the actual headphones themselves just gives it that bit of flexibility when in your pocket so you shouldn't, shouldn't break but um, obviously if it does then you can use the warranty but it shouldn't break, it gives it that flexibility and you should be fine but I prefer the L shaped tip so that's just my opinion, you might like that one but um, that's my opinion so that's actually the headphones themselves, I've just given you a quick overview of the case and everything like that as I said guys the bass on these headphones is great and the crispness of the audio is great. Like I said, it's engineered for HD audio, so the crispness of this of the audio when listening to music from these headphones are great. I definitely recommend these over the tours. These are much cheaper than the tours. Well, I wouldn't say much cheaper, but they are cheaper than the tours, which are over a hundred quid. These are def these are under a hundred quid uh, here in the UK. So I definitely recommend these over the tours. The sound quality is even better. The designs I think is definitely better. It reminds me of sort of the tours mixed with the Monster Jams, I believe they're called, or the Monster Turbines. I'm not sure which ones they are, but you know what I'm talking about, guys. I'll post a picture up alongside this video so you can see what I'm talking about, but they do sort of remind me of that. But audio quality is great, build quality is great at the moment. Obviously, if I have any problems, I will report that back to you in another video. But definitely recommend them, guys. Go pick them up in the description down below. Uh, Mon monstercable.com or uh, beatsbydre.com depending on which one you want to go to it doesn't really matter and um, that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed this review please subscribe please like this video please do whatever you want to do and I'll hope to see you in the next video so thanks for watching it's been Nick for the Migrant Tech YouTube channel and I'll see you all in the next video